Hello. So we'll be looking into the next topic, which is uh, about uh, uh, air traffic control. Uh, air traffic control radio radar beacon system. So in short, we call this as uh, ATC RBS. A stands for air, T stands for traffic, C stands for control, R stands for radar, B stands for beacon, and S stands for system. So air traffic control radio. Uh, sorry, <coughs> radar or in certain place we will also find radio beacon system. So where it is used it is used in the ATC what is its purpose it is used to increase the surveillance how it operates so they've got some ground station and then this ground station will have this rotating antenna on the ground and the aircraft will be equipped with some sort of a device which we call as transponder now this rotating antenna will emit some vertical beam of microwaves and these microwaves will go and strike the aircraft and inside the aircraft we have got the transponder so the transponder now transmit a written signal back to the ATC unit and that information will be displayed in the screen which we call as the surveillance scope which is a part of the ATC uh, office or ATC building and the information that this transmit uh, sorry this transponder will transmit is the flight number as well as the altitude now this ground control unit which has got this rotating antenna so it has this rotating antenna is just some radar so it has got two type of radar one is the primary radar and another is the secondary radar we need to know the purpose of the primary and the secondary radar now the primary radar it just provides some information and this information is provided in terms of certain symbols for the aircraft in that area wherever the ATC is installed so whatever the aircraft in that area so it will have some idea regarding the aircraft flying in that area and it does not need any type of response from the aircraft specifically whereas the secondary radar it is used with the ATC transponder and it can question the uh, ATC and then sorry it can question the transponder and then the transponder needs to reply back so it has got a provision of interrogation so secondary radar has got the um, function of interrogation by the uh, you know ground state ground stationary secondary surveillance radar system now both this primary as well as secondary radar are mounted in the same rotating mounting uh, stand probably you can say and that is why because they are mounted in the same stand so they will always point in the same direction so you need to keep in mind that they point in the same direction now as I told you about the transponder so what exactly it is so we'll uh, specifically look into two type of transponder mode A transponder and mode C transponder okay so initially we'll try to see what exactly is mode A transponder what is its purpose so mode A transponder it used to identify the particular aircraft on the screen screen of the you know the scope which is part of the ATC now if the ground unit want the pilot to identify the aircraft during that case the pilot will press this button called the IDENT you know that means it stands for the identification and it is this button is part of the control panel and then that particular aircraft in that scope will appear bright so it gives an idea regarding this particular aircraft now what about mod C so the mod C transponder if it is equipped that means it will also let the ATC know regarding the altitude mod A is just showing that this particular aircraft is present you now if the ATC asks so the pilot will press this IDENT that, that stands for identification it, it will press that button and that particular aircraft will be illuminated in that screen 
whereas if an aircraft is equipped with mod c so in that case it will also give the idea regarding the altitude with respect to the ground now both this mod a as well as mod c transponder it operates in the uhf uh, band ultra high frequency band whereas the interrogation will be in 1030 megahertz whereas the reply will be in 1090 megahertz that's all about it okay